have any questions, let me know because this is my sure. personal name. Oh, this is your. Oh, you're the perfect guy to talk to. Yeah. And you just kind of walk me through some of the stuff you got on here. 100. percent Yeah, let's do Where it. Where do you man. want to start at? Front, back. Just, just geek out on your stuff anywhere. All you right. Want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, front. Got the worn uh, winch backwards as well with the, with the front bumper. This is nice. I like how it goes way up here. Yep. And you know, I yeah. wasn't a fan of the bull bar. It's always, at least yeah. for me, as you can tell, some uh, like with symmetry on the inside. Everything is matching each other, and that's yeah. just how I like to see things. And the bull bar takes away from this front end, which is. I think a, a pretty solid look. Oh, it, it's yeah. amazing, man. It, yeah. it looks good and it's functional. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the rack up top is Rome built. And uh, I have double awnings uh -huh. so I can have shade on either side. It looks kind of like a, literally like a big bat <laughs> when it's open. And yeah. You know, what's funny is that when we were, I was in Colorado at the Overland Expo. Yep. I don't know what your vehicle there. It I don't was. know. If I missed it. But um, it was so hot that everybody was running to people with awnings. Yep. So everybody's going underneath everyone's awnings. Yeah, you gotta have good awning. And man. the thing is, with double awning, yeah. yeah, it can be overkill and it's more money, right? In a sense, but like with a double door, double awning, it means I don't have to rotate my vehicle when oh, the sun changes. Nice. It also means yeah. if it's very windy on this side, I can enter from the other side. Yeah. And opening that big door with a lot of wind gets <laughs> quite wild. But cool. yeah, we have enough light to obviously light up the world, and I have lights yeah. around the whole thing to really have like scene lighting or if uh you know like I said i hunt if there's something you do like loading up side by side yeah cleaning an animal whatever it may be just yeah. being able to have light while you're working is awesome that's cool man yeah with the double doors you know a lot of people are kind of like oh you're missing the cabinetry here and there right yeah but the benefits you get is when you're in here it feels so much more open right yeah. often people are cooking with a cabinet right in their face <laughs> Yeah. And if you look at it, the cabinet you lose, these aren't even that deep. So you're not losing in that much space. No. You can put that gear underneath the back. Yeah. And instead have a van that feels more like home. And it means yeah. you get to swivel the driver's seat. Yeah, I notice you have the Shield Mon seats too, oh, man. These man. are nice. Very comfortable. And, yeah. you know, these vans are, are intended for cargo, literally, like FedEx, yeah. Amazon, stuff like that. Yeah, so the yeah. seats, people are in and out, in and out. They're not that comfortable. Yeah. Seat and bed, most important for me. You're spending the most time. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. So nice. we got a 12 volt AC. I'm able to literally leave my dog in here, mountain yeah. bike for six hours, yeah. and not have to worry about the temperature. I like what you guys did here too. This is nice. Yeah. It doesn't just look like a cargo van. It looks like a home in here. It looks like a yeah. home. It feels like a home, you know? Yeah. It's like I can sit here, hang out, work. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I'll sit here, put an iPad up, watch TV. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really. Like even right now while I'm here, I'd rather be in this than yeah. the hotel. <laughs> I was just gonna you say. Know, at home, I sometimes yeah. just come out here and hang out. I bet. Yeah, this is a nice touch too. Whoever did this woodwork, this is nice. So Torig did the whole build. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're out of Golden, Colorado. Yeah. Eric and Paul, awesome guys. And you know, when I came to them, I was like, I have this double door vision and wow. kind of know what I wanted to be like. And they were like, let's bring it to life. Yeah. So they really worked me. We picked out all the colors, what we wanted, and. They made suggestions of things that they were like, well, yeah. maybe do this, maybe do that. And now it gives me so many options. You know, I got a fridge, got an induction stove, yeah. got the fan in the back. If it's, you know, just don't want to have an air conditioner go, but I want to get some cross breeze going. Yeah. And yeah. then uh, what's what's the, one of the biggest touches, and I was showing someone this the other day, is uh, all these covers that they make in the screens. Oh, they're insulated, that's right. Yeah, yeah. and what's nice is, here, I'll show you just with this. One second is, like right now, Oh yeah. It's like you don't even know you're at a trade show. Yeah, you can just get away. That's yeah, cool. It's super quiet. So it's really it's it's blackout. Oh, that's you can nice sleep too. At a, you can sleep at a rest stop. So you literally you, just, you don't get woken up by the sun. Yeah, correct. That's cool. Yeah, and, and if well, there's sometimes where you're traveling where it's not mm -hmm. always glamorous and BLM and <laughs> like sometimes you just need to park somewhere to sleep because yeah. you're cross country yeah, yeah, and yeah. the ability to then just pull this out and stretch uh -huh. it across very quickly or i have these other blinds that go up here oh, okay no one even knows that's cool that you're in in a vehicle so that's stealth good. camping is awesome <laughs> that is awesome man yeah cool yeah essentially when i got this van i wanted to be able to have the ability to do whatever i wanted with it if uh -huh. i want to go mountain biking if i want to go hunting if i want to go fishing so uh, but I didn't want to compromise things that I thought were the most important, like a yeah. bed, for instance, and creature comforts because it's a van. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's basically right at the right height to um, put a mountain bike in here. 
This is a big garage, by the way. Right? <laughs> it's pretty Dude, good. Dude, it's right? massive. And what's crazy about it is, yeah. as you know, you notice it's two doors. Yeah. Most people are like, why'd you do two doors? You're losing square footage. It's like, if you can't fit everything you need here, yeah. like, you need a bigger rig. <laughs> yeah. You know? I mean, this is a yeah. truck bed. This is, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So my buddy custom built this uh, for me. It's an aluminum slide extension whoa and then put That's in the cool. l tracks for it nice. so i actually have like mountain bike fork mounts that just clip into here that i put on like a, a piece of metal yeah, yeah so yeah. i can basically stagger my bikes and it goes right in or i can put boxes but i can fit mountain biking how many climbing. bikes can you fit in here I'm just curious I mean, really i could put four yeah but i always do two yeah and the only times that i'll put them in here is if i'm on the road for like two three weeks i don't want them on the back yeah because the you can sun lock it and up. weather is so bad for expensive bikes yeah. I mean, bikes in general but yeah. when you have nice bikes it's just yeah. not fun and also um if you're going places you don't want to leave your bikes just on the back where you feel yeah. like someone's going to take it so this really just gives you that security to throw it in and with not having to crawl in there that makes such a difference oh yeah but Torig does a great job with you know battery management you know it's all pretty much self-explanatory easy, easy access easy. yeah for anything. all the fuses yeah. uh water goes in here oh, into the fill. tank 27 gallon tank nice. and then i have this outside shower Let's spray off out yep. here spray the bikes or dogs whatever a hundred percent yeah so the dog i even put a 110 outlet underneath uh, so i can plug in a uh, trigger yeah. or I can oh. charge, yeah. <laughs> nice. so if i want to have like a small one or yeah. i can also uh charge my e-bikes if i have like because uh -huh. i have an electric mountain bike yeah, I yeah charge it on the outside or the inside while i'm driving nice so and then you're getting it from the solar yeah so the back's pretty much just garage put your gear uh -huh. you know spot what but, about that uh that net there or whatever yeah so if you're like say you wanted to work on the bike or work on anything uh -huh. like that like uh got speakers in the back for this whole area but yeah. then also this is kind of the bed area uh so then you got a oh look at that yeah. you could park right up on a beautiful lake Correct. and then just wherever yeah. and it really just opens it up so bug screen no screen uh i think it's a great way too to just like Kind of separate like just in your house you have rooms yeah room. and the yeah. garage is like always something that i'm a little more like messy with yeah I yeah say. yeah you guys can um, this is, who makes this right here yeah so this is backwoods same oh, company okay. that makes the rear bumper front oh bumper. okay and then al vans makes the uh the ladder as well as the sherpa yeah. rack that's on that door that's a beefy ladder by the way yeah that's and it's cool. awesome the way that they make it it's a new hinge that's replaced uh -huh. and when it mounts on there your weight is pushing directly on the hinges yeah so you can put whatever you need in there as well as like for climbing it you can step on all this oh nice and that leads me to my next question that's a big cargo rack up there you can stand on it <laughs> you can be at 360 areas and yeah. totally just like have a view of the vista you yeah. can some out boxes up there if you need more gear i put usually yeah. like blow up paddle boards up there yeah yeah then you don't take up a lot of room in here yeah and whenever you need them it's really not that hard to get yeah out. solar panels up there too solar panels oh uh, nice yep. How many watts is up there? Do you right know? Right now it's a hundred and eighty. Uh, just to, just to charge your stuff. Yeah, but I'm gonna be boosting it to about four or five hundred. Yeah. I like overkill. Yeah, 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 that's a good number, four hundred. Right yeah, there. <laughs> but I have the portable one that goes on the side and plugs in right here. So as long as the panel has a solar charge controller, then I can go directly into nice. the battery bank. So I, I see you have a mirror to show us something's going on there, right? Yeah, so that's a pro heat heater. It's a, a 30,000 BTU heater that heats the water, the air, and if you wanted to get fancy, I could have done heated floors. <laughs> yeah, and what's crazy about it is this is it. Yeah, actually, where they're sitting right here. Oh, okay. It's not even that big. It's industrial size heater. Yeah. Oh, there's uh, Mike from Last Line of Defense Correct. right there. Right? Yeah, he's working yeah. with us. He's a good friend of mine. So yeah. nice. we, we're showing off all the rigs, the different options. I see the amp research steps. Those are cool. <laughs> yeah, they pop out yeah. both sides. I have an up-down system in every fender so that I can basically just hook up a line. And then from underneath the passenger seat, I can air down to whatever PSI I want or nice. whatever I want. Uh, and then air back up to whatever I want. And the nice thing is, yeah. especially these bigger, heavier, longer rigs, yeah. washboards, Oh, they beat yeah. it up I so bet. you gotta let out yeah. some air right on so um let's end this with um any kind of like social media you want guys to oh cool yeah um, so 
I work for Dometic, but my personal account is The Bearded Dream. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I basically just started off <laughs> traveling a lot before working uh, for Dometic. And yeah, you're, so, living, you're living the dream, man. You work for Dometic and you get to travel and you get to this rig, man. Yeah. That's awesome, dude. So I'll, I'll put links below to all the different companies he was mentioning in the video. But yeah, if you guys want to build something like this, essentially tour rig is, are the guys right yep yep yeah. tour rig they do amazing work and they it's just having someone that you can trust with your vision is yeah. something that's yeah it's priceless awesome thanks man yeah